Okay, guys. Um, so today, what we're going to be doing is I am listening to you guys' comments regarding on my MacBook uh, from my PC build. Uh, you guys have been saying to um, maybe clean the fans and also uh, reapply the thermal paste. So I still have the thermal paste that I have from the Cooler Master for the CPU cooler that I have. Um, and what else I'm going to be doing is a Ninja battery replacement. I wanted to replace it with a brand new Apple battery or from iFixit, but it was double the it was at least double the price of a Ninja battery. So for this Ninja battery, it was about fifty-four dollars, I believe. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So the computer has been uh, shut down completely. What we're going to be doing is just flipping it over. Before you start, get yourself one of these multi-tool uh, PC or cell phone uh, toolkit. I'm also going to put the photo of iFixit diagram for the battery. Oh, sorry, for the screws. So obviously these two are the shortest and all the rest of it is, um, well, all of them are the same. So the reason why I'm actually replacing the battery is I have replaced it with a Ninja battery before, about two and a half years ago, I believe. Or two, something like that. Um, I had this PC since Boxing Day of 2015. So it's about seven years I had this computer and I, and this will be the second time that I'll be replacing the battery. Obviously it lasted me quite long. Um, the reason why I'm replacing is I believe the battery actually bulged a little bit um, because this part I can push and it will just keep popping off. So there are two uh, rubber clips right here, um, retainer clip or something like that. That should be really um, pushing this entire uh, bottom panel down. But right now, I think it's the battery that I must have puffed up around here or here that's causing these two retainers not to um, retain itself. Okay, so as you can see, we do have some dust there. I'm just cleaning up the panel a little bit with my microfiber towel that I have. So it definitely looks like this battery has been, uh, it's bulged out a little bit so I'll just have to be more careful taking this out. Um, uh, as you can see I did take the bottom panel off and replaced, uh, replaced a SSD card from the factory 128 gigabyte into a 500 gigabyte, um, which has been great, and I have an adapter for it, so you don't have to buy the Apple specific um, SD card for it. Okay, so now we're going to start uh, getting to the point, so we can take the battery out. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just taking this off. And what I like to do is just put it to the side and then from the toolkit I'm just gonna grab my plastic sponger it's called or a spudger spudger uh, well I like to just call a plastic flat tool and then you're just going to work from the side and then be able to get this thing off Okay, well apparently my plastic one wouldn't work, so I had to just use this, get it from one side and just just kind of twist it and open it up. You are going to be using a T5 Torx. Um, in order to get the T5 Torx, just check in your toolkit, get the T5 out. This just comes off. And then I'm going to 
be using this plastic thing again. Just lift this off. And then underneath, there is a this connector that we're going to be um, taking it off. There. Okay, now we have this part um, disconnected. We are able to just move this. So now what I'm going to be doing is just putting my this metal, it's pretty bendy, uh, put it in here and just work the, just remove the adhesive off. Well, apparently this one was not even really on properly. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is just put a used um, or not used, but just a business card in there or paper and do that for the same for the other side. Just be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to puncture the battery. I also did heat this part up with, um, with actually just bean bag. Uh, the ones that you would have for if your body is sore, um, ones that you can put in the microwave, microwave for a bit. You can get that from iFixit too, but didn't feel like buying it from there. Um, we had one just laying in the house, so that is what I'm using. So for now, I'm just gonna move this to the side. Uh, what I've done uh, off the camera is I actually used some 50% isopropyl alcohol and just cleaned the adhesive around the MacBook where the batteries used to be. Now I just am going to open up the Ninja battery. Comes with the user's manual. It is nice that they included uh, two Torx, or one Torx and one um, not Torx, I guess, um, which is pretty nice. But I'm not going to be using that, I'm just going to be using my tool set that I have. And now I have this battery, I'm just going to put it to the side. Okay, I have the MacBook here. Um, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the exact same um, thing, just reversed. Okay, so now I have this. Just gonna grab the bottom where the adhesive is. There's like a little um, protective plastic foam on it that you're just going to take, which exposes all the adhesive. Okay, once that is out, I'm just going to kind of replace it from the top first and then to bottom. Okay, now I have all of that on. Just push the battery till you can feel the adhesive like sticking properly. And once that is done, just peel this.
Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my grab all of these things. This will have to get tucked under, so put this in first. I'm gonna tuck it in. So I didn't notice the camera actually died. I had to change a uh, battery. So I already tightened that part. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is putting three screws back on for the speaker. properly okay so this connector right here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but there is a little connector that I had to flip up so make sure that is flipped up still so now we have these two speakers connected back on then we also have this connector that we'll have to put it back on. Just be careful when you are putting the connectors back on. Okay, now everything is on. Just double check everything is on here. So now we're going to move on to uh, removing this fan and cleaning all the dust out. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad because I did clean it not long ago. Okay, so in order to do that, what we actually have to do is... Uh, now we're taking this sticker off again. Pretty tight, so just using a little help from the metal uh, prying tool instead of the plastic one. Okay, so I have a feeling that I'm missing one of the rubber thing. Okay, so I got all three of that removed. Uh, let's see if this is still the right size. Yep, it's still. So there are 45 screws that you're going to take out. Seven mil. Uh, yeah, it's. I think it definitely needed a thermal paste. I don't know how you, how well you will be able to see this. Ooh, it's pretty crusty. That's for sure. Uh -huh, so I'll take all of that off with isopropyl alcohol and then I'll get back to you guys right away. So I was able to use some q-tips and some 50% isopropyl alcohol and get rid of all the thermal paste as much as I can. Um, same thing on this one I was able to get as much as I can. Um, for this part what I'm going to be uh, for the fence what I'm going to be doing is even though I don't see any dust up. I'm going to use compressed air 
that's in a can and just pull that out. I might also just do everything properly the first time, so I'm going to do it again uh, later on. And then now we're going to be moving on to this. What you want to do is take this and then move it to the side. So as I mentioned, there are three T torques that we're going to be taking out. Uh, this one is a 5mm, and this one and this one is a 36 So make sure when you are putting them together, make sure the two short ones are going here and here. And the longer one goes to the left side. I'm going to get all faults and start taking apart the fan assembly and actually look at the fans properly. Now I have the fans off of the fan off. What I'm going to do is use some Q-tips and 50% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Just clean this entire thing. gloves um, so I have to get new ones Thank you. 
to um, connect before. And then now we don't need the Phillips. I'm going to be just putting this connector. Uh, lock it in. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting four T5s back in. Well, there's five of them. Right. I'm just going to put the CPU ones on first. Um, not, I'm not tightening it all the way. I'm just kind of evening things out. this wire to be under right here uh, because on this side as you can see there's a hole where you want to be laying the wire right down okay so now that we're done what, I, what, I, what we have actually done is replacing a battery uh, replacing the well not replacing but cleaning the fan uh, cleaning the heat sink um, fins and then replacing the thermal paste and now what I'm going to be doing is just installing my power connector back. Sticker back on for real this time. Just to double check you have all the connectors on.
So it looks like the rendering speed is actually much faster than what it was before. Um, this is about a 10 minute video that I didn't really edit or anything, put, or, put any kind of effect or anything in there. Um, 46 second video with a render speed of 65. That's like definitely hitting much higher than it was before. Uh, before it was about 20 frames per second, uh, maybe 30. But right now it is definitely pushing. But as you can <laughs> hear, the fan def definitely working pretty hard, even with the new thermal paste on. Uh, maybe I might have to get a different thermal paste. But well, if you guys like this video, uh, give a like and uh, comment on what I can do next to make this fan sounding a little bit quieter. Um, but I have found this editing speed is much faster than what it was before. So maybe it maybe new thermal paste did help. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you guys can tell me what you guys think and also co um, yeah, comment on this video to let me know and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and also car content and everything else.